hi and welcome to microsoft access of hospital management system so let me show you guys how this works so we can always add more record here onto this list box here and we also have another list box here that display all of the records for the authority to see or for the hospital management to see and in here are the records of the bookings and right here this is where we enter the different appointment and so on okay we have these two buttons here this is to enable the toolbar and this and the other one the same thing you can see the toolbar there if I press control control F1 you see all of the tools so we can see no tools and yes the tools okay so the other one here is to add records and this is to print okay to add record all you just need to do is click on this and there we go okay let's assume that's the record you want to add you can always add them onto the list box here and the other thing you can do is you can click on print and there we go the system is now ready to print okay the next thing we can do is to just click on exit the choice is here to say yes or no so let's click on yes and there we go so what I'm going to do now is to exit this very one and start a new access application okay now that we start a new one let's click on blank right there and we're going to give our product a name right there guys let's call it hospital management system There we go guys now the tools are missing so i'm going to press ctrl f1 to get the tools back there now instead of creating database i'm going to use my raw data that i have in here those are the raw data that i intend to use i'm also going to enter give you guys the link to this very data on my share drive so don't worry about you finding your own data you can always download this the link to that very data okay now that we are in here i'm going to click on create and no let's select external external data right there because we're importing a new uh, the raw data now here where we have new data source click on that and let's go to file from file and let's select text file now once you get this dialog box browse to wherever you have your data I have my own desktop I think it's called the folder is called doctor right there we go so I'm going to select doctor right there click on ok now that this dialog box pops up, make sure you it remains as delimited and click on next. Now, select this very checkbox here. First row contains field name. You can see the field name there. Click on next. Now, in here, the choice is yours if you want to change the data type, but I'm going to leave my data type the way it is all right so let's come in here and if you want you can always say no duplicate or duplicates that's fine by me or that's fine by you whatever you want to do click on next now in here the system automatically generates a primary key well i don't want that i want to choose my own primary key so select the radio button here and click on next now that's the name of your table if you like you can always change it but I'm alright with that so I'm going to click on finish and close that so right there is my very first table ok 
okay if i right click on it you can see the design view of that very table and the primary key is selected for me there all right so you can even double click and just view the tables so let's close that and this very table i'm going to delete that i don't need it so let's repeat the same thing for the next data there and just import maybe we should import patients right there import the patients i repeat exactly the same process okay first column there we go and then click on choose my own primary key there and give it a name patients that's fine and click on finish and close that that is it right there let's click and see the design view that's the design view and the primary key is selected as well now let's click on the data itself there so i will just speed up the the third one and get back to you guys all right the last one is taken care of let me show you there we go and there we have compound or compost key there so let's just click and you view the data we have on board there we go guys so i'm going to close that the next thing i'd like to do is i'm going to create a query for all of this so let's select query widget no let's select query design yeah and i'm going to select the three tables so i'm just click on add there so in here you can always link let's link uh, doctor to this and i'm going to link this you can always do it better than this too there so the next thing I want to do now is to select the the fields that are required. I need that of doctor. Just double click on it. We need the doctor's title, last name, and first name of the doctor, and we also need the doctor's telephone number. Yeah. Now, if we come to the appointment, we need the appointment time. We need the appointment ID and we need time as well. This very one date and time. Then for the as for the patient, we need the patient ID. We need the patient title, patient first name, last name, one of the address field, postcode, age and that should be male or female but that's fine I think it's in uh, another format so if I run it this is how the whole table this is how the query look like you can see male that is just one or zero zero is for male for female one is for male so that's fine that's my query taken care of so let's save that very query I'll just call it hospital anyway right query is done so let's close that now the next thing we want to do is to create a form so click on hospital and let's select form there we go that's the form created all right so what i will now do is to enhance the appearance of this form to make it more user friendly okay first thing i'll do is you see all of these small text box I'm going to make them exactly the same size with all of these other text box and if you come to the format there look at the height of that text box you can copy that and I'm going to select one two three four five six and let's come to the height there and just change it there so that is taken care of so I'm going to select the rest of the text box I do not want to include these ones in the in the middle. Okay, let's just select these ones, and we come right in here where we have. Let's start with. I don't want to change the effect, so I'm going to start with the 
font size let's change the font size to 16 and font color I'm gonna make that darker make it black now let's see the font width I'm gonna make that bold now I need border I'm gonna change the border to 4 and that is solid so that that is fine I need to change the border color as well let's select it all select that border color let's see the border color they will change that to black right done and this one's here I'm gonna repeat the same thing but with a bit of different so the font is going to be 16 as well now we come to the effect special effect I'm going to raise it up then the color font color make that black and make it bold as well there we go now you see that you might not be able to see it properly but if I click on this very form let's change the back color of that form so that you guys can see what I'm talking about right you see that now okay I will now repeat exactly the same thing to these very ones here okay for to that let's come in here and the effect is going to be exactly the same raise it up and the size make that 16 and the color font color we want it to be black and I also want it to be bold black and bold let's come into the width here they will font width make that bold yeah and there so we repeat exactly the same thing for these other ones here and there we go 16 Uh, the border width and the border color make it black and then font we make that bold and the font color will be black there that is the enhancement for just this one is taken care of now back in here so the next thing I want to do now is to add we want to add let's go to design force I want to add a list box so let's drag this down much I want a list box here so we'll drop this down select the list box and just draw it that is my list box I'm going to cancel that so that's just how I want it and the name of the list there list 80 98 I'm just gonna delete that because I don't need that I only need the list box right there and let's move this down let's move it down a little bit okay for this very list box that I've just added let's enhance their appearance as well so go to the properties click and let's select border width I'm gonna make that 4 as well and content let's make that 12 then column header I'm gonna say yes to that and column counts make that 16 then the other thing is the color Font color, I'm gonna make that black and border width, make that bold. Yeah, I think that will do for that. Let's see, no border color, border color, we need to make that black, right? That's it, done. 
so if I come in here right click on click on view form that is how it looks right now okay all right no I don't need 16 here I need about six okay the other one will be 16 all right let's change that no now right click and come to design here I need the columns I want it just to be six not 16 so that's taken care of and one other thing before I forget you see inside the data here you now need to change rule source type we need to change that to value list okay make sure that is changed to value list else we won't be, it won't be able to read the data okay we need one more just one more of those but before that I need I'm gonna need a rectangle and just paste one here I will enhance that as well do exactly the same thing and that will be bold four and what is one color to be black and the back color background color I'm going to use this background color that we have in here so I've selected the header there just copy that very background color and let's come in here select this and change the back color of that change it to that very one that I've just copied you see that it's changed now I need one more list box so move this down a little bit more and come right there the design select this very list box and just draw so in the case of this very list box I am going to accept just click on next and the data that I want is on the query so select query hospital query click on next and select every single data click on next you can select whatever you want here if you like you can just click on next and that's it that's fine click on next next and just click on finish all right but one or two things need to be taken care of make sure it's still selected come to column header change that to yes here you can see column count is officially 16 and the system has given you a default width for every single column now if you come straight to the data here make sure the row source is table is from the table and that's all there is to that so the only thing that I need is just to take care of the the border itself border width I'm gonna make that solid as well make that full and the color let's look for border color here let's make sure it's black right so if I run it let's right click on the aspect today and view and there we go can see all the records in there but this one this label there I'm going to delete that label and there so right click design view scroll right down this very label get rid of it done okay now we get in somewhere so maybe for now just reduce that and drag this down a little bit more okay the next thing we want to do now is to add some buttons here so let's come right in here that's a button there click and draw that's button number one I'm gonna say cancel and I'll just pick that up okay right here I have all my buttons in place but for now they do nothing but I need one more button this very button that I need I would like that very button to I would like to use macro on that very button so click and let's draw that very button here we'll position that in there so we need it to add add new record 
so click on next let's select add record next I'm going to give that a name I'll call it CMD add record and click on finish so the next thing we just want to do now is to enhance the appearance of that very button so let's see the width of this one is 5.012 and the height is 0.899 so click on this the width copy paste that in there and the height is 0.899 there we go now we need to change we need to ch actually change the color I think this is the color no that's not the color I think that's the color let's see okay it's, that's the color I'm gonna copy that color paste it in here and just delete every content in here and paste my new copy color now bother with big that for as well and change the color of the border width to black right we need to change the font what is the font of this 18 so let's change this to 18 and we then need to change the, the width of the font now we need to change font color font color make that black right there so i'm going to run it so that you guys see how the whole thing looks like you know, select from view there we go guys so press ctrl f ctrl f1 so that you guys can see it all so that's how it's looking right now so for now i'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial i'll see you guys shortly